In this video, I'll explain the concept of maximum transmission unit and the effect that it has on the performance of our network. So let's just start out by taking a look at an example scenario with an ESXi host. We have an ESXi host and a virtual machine running on that host. And that virtual machine is going to generate some sort of network traffic. Okay, so here on the left side of the screen, we have our ESXi host. And within that ESXi host, I have some virtual machines that are running, right? So let's go ahead and create a virtual machine here. And my VM is going to be generating some sort of network traffic that's going to be sent out of the host and into the physical network. So here we see the ESXi host is connected to a physical switch. And so as VM1 generates that traffic, we're going to have an MTU configuration on the virtual switch. Now the MTU specifies basically how many bytes is how many bytes an ethernet frame can contain. So if we set our MTU at let's say 9,000, we're going to have really large frames, but we're going to have less frames. And that's really the benefit of having a higher MTU is we don't actually have any less data that's getting sent, but we have fewer frames and every ethernet frame needs to get a source and destination Mac. And there's other overhead associated with generating those frames. So the fewer frames means less overhead. And that's the big benefit of a higher MTU is that we can send fewer, larger frames. However, it doesn't come without its drawbacks. And one of the most important things is to make sure that we're properly configuring the MTU consistently across our network. So in this case, let's assume that the physical switch has been configured with an MTU of 1524. Well, that MTU is significantly lower than what we've configured on our ESXi host or our virtual switch. So the result is we're going to have these really large frames hitting the physical switch, uh, frames that are larger than the physical switch can actually handle. So as these large frames leave the ESXi host and hit the physical switch, they're going to be these jumbo frames, these really big frames. And the physical switch is going to essentially say, that's too big for me. I can't handle a frame that's that large. I have to now chop it up into smaller pieces into a size that I can actually handle. And this is all going to have to be done by that physical switch. So just imagine that with every frame that a physical switch receives, it now has to take that frame, break it up into smaller pieces, append headers on each of those little smaller frames before it can switch that traffic. Right, what do we think the effect on our physical switch is going to be? Well, we know it's not going to be good, right? <laughs> it's obviously not going to be good because now my physical switch is going to be utilizing a whole lot of CPU resources to fragment and reassemble those frames. And that's what occurs when we have a misconfigured or mismatched MTU is fragmentation and reassembly physical switch or whatever is improperly configured isn't going to be able to receive that large packet. I, I kind of always equate this to, let's say that I have four guitars and I want to ship those four guitars to a friend of mine who lives in California. So I take those four guitars, I package them up in a really big box, all four of them. And I put it out in my driveway and I wait for the mailman to show up. And he comes and he looks at it. He says, that box is too big. I can't fit it in the back of the mail truck. We're going to have to open up that box, put all four of those guitars into individual boxes, put new addresses on each of those individual boxes to make sure they all make it to the right place. And then I can put them all in my truck. Well, the process of taking all those guitars out, reboxing them, readdressing them, that's going to be a really lengthy process. And if the mailman has to do that at every house, he's not going to do a very good job. 
That's kind of like my physical switch in this scenario. If the physical switch is constantly breaking frames up into smaller chunks and reassembling them and readdressing them, that's going to really hamper the performance of that physical switch. So the important takeaway to make sure that you keep in mind when we talk about maximum transmission unit is that your network is configured consistently. 